For the past decade, lots of people in the United States have been talking about the need for 21st century education. There's been a discussion about why it's needed and what the 21st century skills for students might be. But there's been very little focus on what it is that schools and school districts need to do to really make it happen. You're about to see three phenomenal systems that have not only enunciated the 21st century outcomes, but have made deep long-term commitments to make them happen. Tonight, students are having a Socratic seminar about some different texts, and they'll be citing evidence from a novel, but also some immigrant interviews and historical documents. And as a collaborative team, we've all read the book that we're evaluating within the Socratic seminar. And I think that's fostered a greater sense of community amongst our collaborative team as teachers. The students see how we interact, and I think we're modeling the types of interactions that we would expect from our students. Once you come through a few of these exhibitions and, and bigger projects where kids are working together and experiencing that success together, they come out of it transformed. I think the fact that we have to do an exhibition makes the kids understand the content a lot more because there's a crowd around and you actually have to understand what you're saying and you have to understand what's going on because you don't know what somebody's going to throw at you. So you have to really understand the book and understand your interviews and understand everything that's happening so that you can participate in the conversation. The students get a lot of time to really study a topic, to discuss it with one another, to put in their own insight about that topic as opposed to reading it from a book, regurgitating information on a test, and then possibly forgetting it. They know what they're shooting to improve on. It's not just like, you need to be a better student, you need to work harder. We have these very clear, specific things. You need to work on how you communicate in a presentation. You need to work on how you collaborate with other students. I also find that there's always one of the C's that a student can excel in. I think our focus on 21st century learning skills has helped all of us to kind of pause and reflect about, you know, what we really do with the valuable time that we have with young people. The minute our teachers walk in the door, we have them involved with other teachers and mentors to learn about what good teaching looks like. I'm mentoring a new teacher this year and I go in her room and watch what she's doing and help her figure out how to refine her practice as well. That accountability measure I think is missing in a lot of schools and here it's just expected that you are the same kind of colleague or teacher as we expect from our students. In order for our students to be successful and be able to demonstrate and perform and apply these skills, we as the adults in the learning system have to be ongoing adult learners and model those same skills in the work that we do professionally and in the work that we do in the classroom with the students. One of the great things about our district is that they provide their staff the opportunities to come together take a professional development day and collaborate. And we look at the Common Core standards and we're able to break them down and discuss across grade levels, middle school and high school, elementary through high school, as to how that Common Core works, how it breaks down to deeper learning. I think our focus on 21st century skills changed the collaborative work that we do in the district. We have professional development that's geared toward our work with uh, systems thinking and with critical and creative thinking. So the conversations that we have with our colleagues are targeted toward those outcomes. So the work I do with my students improves when I'm able to get better professional development and collaboration on those topics with my colleagues we get a chance to bring up topics that we would like to discuss and oftentimes critical and creative thinking will come up or systems thinking so that we can get some ideas for strategies from each other that way. We also have data teams where we work together to analyze outcomes of what our students are doing either content wise or it might be a skill related to 21st century skills and it gives us a chance to try things out in that collaborative setting before we work on them with our own students. And then we can come back and see how it worked and talk about ways to be more effective.
when we developed our strategic plan, Compass to 2015, we determined that we wanted our students to be critical thinkers, problem solvers, creative thinkers. We wanted them to collaborate and communicate effectively. But the challenge became, how do you assess these things? And one of the things we noticed right away is we currently don't have assessments that capture those skills. We do a great job of capturing academic proficiency, but not such a great job on assessing those important skills that students need to succeed in the 21st century for college work and citizenship. We really needed buy-in from all staff and students in order to make this happen. We got our instructional leadership team together to really take a look at, at this strategic plan and how we were going to implement it. We are called the ILT, the Instructional Leadership Team. It consists of people from every discipline that lead their PLCs, their professional learning communities. When we were drawn into the first meeting of the year, one of our goals that we voted to work on uh, was collaboration communication, doing a better job at collaboration and communication. In order to accomplish this, you have to have some concrete things that you're using. So a rubric was developed to assess whether you're a novice, whether you're an expert at communication and collaboration. You really need to create an assessment worth teaching to and we believe that's what we've done so now we're starting to see our teachers really buy into this assessment and they're changing classroom instruction in order to ensure our students are well prepared for not only this assessment but the challenges they'll have in the future. I didn't make the decision to come here. I didn't want to come here. Now I realize that everything they're doing here, they're doing it for a reason. It's not just to be difficult. That's what I used to think in every right year. Like I didn't understand why everything was happening. And now I feel like the leadership skills they teach us, like critical thinking and collaborating productively, like those things are really going to help me not only get to college, but like succeed while I'm there and like be successful past college. We've been doing 21st century skills for a while, but I think there's now a much more um, consistent and consolidated focus on 21st century skills. I've seen students transformed from being disempowered in their education and uh, not understanding its purpose or seeing its relevance and then when I ask them to do things when as a school we ask them to do things with their knowledge and to care about it and to use it purposefully then you see them transformed. I think we're well down the road to preparing our students for a future that's fairly undefined for them but I'm optimistic that whatever comes their way at least what I'm seeing with our product that these are really capable leaders for tomorrow.